Hi everyone, Kieran here. As part of this quick tip video, I'm going to give you the info you need to know about when using the Rotary Pocket and Rotary Console strategies. Firstly, Rotary Pocket. This dedicated four axis roughing strategy can be used to remove large portions of material on conical or cylindrically complex feature rich parts that are suited to four axis machines. On the passes tab, you have two style options. Use offset where you have complex feature rich geometry or use offset and spiral where complex geometries are additionally surrounded by simpler cylindrical geometries to provide a smoother motion on the rotary axis and help maintain programmed feed rate. We all want better surface quality and want to extend the life of our tools as much as possible. To do this, enable the tool offset option to move the tool onto the leading edge in the direction of cut. Where applicable, a linear move will be invoked in order to pivot the tool over to cut in the opposite direction. A real pro tip here is that, in order to use this as a floor finishing strategy, go to the radii tab. Set zero millimeters for the inner radius and a value just larger than the radius of the floor you are trying to machine. Next, set the step down to be the tool flute length. Make sure step down onto floors is checked and remove the stock to leave. Now simply hit calculate. So go on, finish those floors as well. Now that you've roughed out your four axis part and finished the floors, let's talk about the walls. Next, we have Rotary Contour. This was designed to be a wall finishing strategy. Rotary Contour auto detects walls and simply machines them. Select multiple nested boundaries around your part where you want to be deliberate about which walls you are finishing. Both Rotary Pocket and Rotary Contour support machining of conical, feature-rich parts as well. Simply enter the cone angle and Fusion will tip the A or B axis over in order to make sure you are reducing the number of step downs required and ensuring no excess stock is being left behind when machining conical surfaces. Lastly, where tool types are concerned, end mills, bull noses, ball nose tools are currently supported. If you want to maximize your four axis capabilities with Fusion 360, then look no further. The Rotary Pocket and Rotary Console strategy can be accessed by subscribing to the machining extension. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that like button if you want to see more of this content going forward. From me, cheers.